the Wright brothers repeatedly pushed planes off the sand dunes of Kitty Hawk until they finally discovered powered flight. But today, we use computer simulations to design new aircraft. But when we need to simulate microscopic systems, we hit a wall. Even if we turn the entire planet into a supercomputer, we could never simulate the way a new medicine works in the human body, or a new catalyst makes an industrial process more efficient. The equations of this microscopic world are quantum mechanical. So the only way to solve them is to build a quantum computer. Until then, for such problems, we are stuck in an age of slow discovery, not rapid design. I founded River Lane in 2016. At that point, there'd been amazing progress in building a one, two qubit system, so the basic building blocks of a quantum computer. But the majority opinion was that these would never scale that we wouldn't be able to get to useful quantum computing. I founded River Lane to make that happen and to make it happen sooner. So we want to help the hardware companies get to useful quantum computing much faster. That means going from hundreds of operations to trillions. There is a way to solve all this. It's quantum error correction and this is what River Lane does. Quantum error correction is important because it's the foundation upon which quantum computing stands. It involves solving an incredibly complex puzzle at incredibly high speeds with an amount of data that's comparable to the entire bandwidth of Netflix and doing it in real time deterministically. If the decoder is the heart of the quantum error correction stack, the control system is its hands. The decoder decides what kind of corrective actions we need to take and then the control system executes them. We have built the world's first decoder chip that progresses the roadmap on error correction. We have built a new novel algorithm which decodes for the surface code. It operates at high speed and most importantly it can support qubits at large number of scales. So we work with hardware companies with all types of qubits, neutral atoms, ion trap, superconducting qubits, spin qubits, photons and our technology is applicable to all of them. There's a challenge to extract useful quantum advantage from these noisy machines. It's become very clear that to make further progress, we will also need error correction. We're looking to do that in part through a collaboration with Riverlane. So everyone who is building qubits will need an error correction stack. Because these qubits, no matter how perfect they can be manufactured to be, they will never be perfect enough to sustain long, long quantum calculations. It's important to understand the applications that end users want to run on quantum computers. In order to do this, we're working with a number of industry leaders on different problems, like Rolls-Royce on designing better jet engines, and also Johnson Matthey on designing better fuel cells. This is a really exciting moment. There's a huge amount of work to be done. There's a lot of engineering challenges to solve. But we've got the team and we've got the capability and partnerships to solve those challenges. And that's given us a clear roadmap to get to a quantum computer that goes beyond the capability of any classical supercomputer that would ever be built.